So to, to review with you what we have discussed so far, a couple of the main things to review, um, or actually we can just go over here. So first thing is the identity element. The nth root of a to the n is equal to a. Need to make sure we know the identity. I'm just redoing a quick little review. The nth root of x times the nth root of y equals the nth root of x times y. That works the other way as well. Remember the nth root of x divided by the nth root of y equals the nth root of x divided by y. That goes the other way as well. Okay? Those are the rules so far that we've talked about. The main important thing is the identity, um, and then you have your multiplying and your dividing. Okay? So the next thing that we're going to talk about is, um, again, is going to be adding and subtracting. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a nth root of x plus b nth root of x, as long as your index and your radicand are exactly the same, as long as your index and your radicand are exactly the same, then you can add the coefficients and you keep the index and radicand exactly the same. Okay? So it would just be like, you know, if I had 3x plus 3x, that equals 6x. Okay? If I had 3 square root of x plus 3 um, square root of x, that equals 3 square root of x. Does everybody see? Agree with me? So it's no difference. What you guys have done with adding variables, now we're just including the radicands. However, if I had 3 um, square root of x plus, I should have probably used different numbers, right? Sorry, let's, it doesn't matter. I just don't want you to say, oh, those have to be the same. Do you guys see how now the indexes are the same, are different, right? So you can't add them. 